Hello and welcome back to Alice Talks Football and today's video is every Premier League team's best player in the Premier League this season. So if you like this video hit that like button down below. If you want to see more football related content from me then click that subscribe button. If you don't agree with any of my answers comment them down below as there's some teams I don't know as much about. So if you think I've got anyone wrong let me know down in the comments. Share this video and let's get into it. We're starting off in alphabetical order, Ooh, alphabetical order with Arsenal. And Arsenal's best player this season has to be a Bamiang. I don't think there's much arguing with that because he has scored 14 out of their 29 Premier League goals. That's literally just under half. I think he's got a free match ban for that red card, which they're trying to appeal. So let's see how they do without him because I think there was some stat that was released that's like without a Bamiang, Arsenal would have like 12 less points because that's how many points he's won in the season. He's been their most important, best, and most crucial player. Aston Villa, I'm going with Jack Grealish. McGinn's been decent, but I'm going with Grealish. He's got six goals and five assists. That's 11 goal contributions to Aston Villa, who have the ninth most goals in the league this season, but they're still down there at the bottom because of the defence, which shows that they're going forward, they've been a good team just defensively. Nah, ah, ah, ah. Now, Bournemouth. Bournemouth have been poor. They haven't scored many goals. I think they've scored like the least amount of goals this season. So I say the best player has to be a defender and I'm going with Nathan Ake. He's been linked to teams. I think he was recently linked to Chelsea. He's their best player. I think he's been their best player this season. So I've gone with Ake. Brighton, this was a hard one. I have got goalkeeper Ryan down, but they've also got Lewis Dunk down. And I think Lewis Dunk, I've chosen him to be their best player this season because I think that he's just been consistent and good at the back. Now, Brighton fans, let me know if you disagree with this and who you think your best player has been but I'd say Lewis Dunk but I don't watch Brighton that often. Burnley I've gone with James Tarkovsky just because I just think he's a really good player. I think he could get into Euro 2020. I've watched him play a few times. Burnley aren't the best team in the world but when I watch him play he's kind of solid at the back. Now I don't know what you think Burnley fans but I've gone with Tarkovsky. Again this is one I don't know super loads about but if you disagree with me then let me know who you think. But I've watched Burnley only like four times this season but he always looked good for them when I watched them. Chelsea is between William, Abraham and Kante and like I feel I'm gonna go with Abraham just because of he's surprised me. I think he's got like 12 or 13 goals in the Premier League. I think only like five players have got more goals than him in the Premier League. He seems to be finishing well. You know, he's got call up to England. I think he'll get into Euro 2020 squad. He's been pretty decent. So I've gone with Tammy at Abraham. Now, Crystal Palace, some would say Zaha is their best player, and I say Zaha is their best player on paper, but I feel like their best player this season has been Jordan Ayew, or maybe just most surprising, because he's got six goals and an assist to his name, while Zaha's got like three goals and two assists. Obviously, Zaha's more of a winger, but I've just been impressed with Ayew, and Crystal Palace don't score that many goals, and I think he scored like a third of their goals this season, or just under. But so I'm going with Jordan Ayew. Uh, now to Everton, it was between Carver Lewin and Richarlison for me. I mean, Dinier has been good as well, but I think the reason I've chosen Richarlison is because Carver Lewin has just found form since uh, Marcus Silva was sacked, while Richarlison's been in kind of formal season in and out. Richarlison also has eight goals and three assists to his name, which is like the most goal contributions out of any Everton player. So for me, I've gone with Richarlison. Leicester City, there are so many players that, that there are a lot. Madison, Ricardo Pereira, Vardy and Didi, but it has to be Vardy because 17 goals already, 17 goals, he's been on fire since Brendan Rodgers came in, like no player I think has actually scored more goals in the top five leagues since Brendan Rodgers took charge than Jamie Vardy, he's contributed to the joint most goals with De Bruyne this season, He's been on fire. Top scorer has to be Vardy. Liverpool, a lot of people will say Van Dijk. Van Dijk was their best player last season. But I actually think their best player this season has been Sadio Mane. Now, Liverpool fans, let me know if you disagree with that. But I've just been really impressed by Mane. Only Rashford, De Bruyne and Vardy have contributed to more goals than Sadio Mane in the Premier League this season. He's contributed to 17 goals this season, which is insane. I think he's got 11 goals and six assists, which is just insane stats. So for Liverpool, I'm going with Sadio Mane. With Man City, it's gotta be Kevin De Bruyne. 14 assists already. He's gonna break like the most assists in the season record for sure. He's also got seven goals to add to his name. That's 21 goal contributions in 21 games. That is absolutely insane stats from Kevin De Bruyne. There's no way that anyone's better than him. I think he'll get the PFA Player of the Year. He's just been insane for Manchester City. 
Man United is Marcus Rashford. It's a hard one for Man United because you've got to think McTominay's been pretty good, Martial's been pretty good, but they've both had injury spells. So the two players that stood out was Marcus Rashford and Aaron Wan-Bissaka. But I'm going to go with Marcus Rashford because I think he's really stepped up in that left wing role. And only De Bruyne and Bardi have contributed to more goals than him this season. I think he's got five assists and 14 goals, which is 19 goal contributions. And people say, oh, he takes penalties and stuff. But every penalty he's scored, he's literally won. Like, the one he scored against Man City, he won from dribbling. The one he scored against Tottenham, he won from dribbling. And I just think he's been brilliant. His dribbles, his skills, he's been their best player this season. So, Marcus Rashford. Newcastle United, now, this was a hard one because Newcastle just can't seem to, like, not be injured. Like, when I look at their players, it's like, there's always one that's sort of injured. So I'm going to go with Dubravka, that took a long time to say Dubravka, because no player has made more saves, or no goalkeeper, sorry, has made more saves in the Premier League than him, he's made 90 saves, I think he's just been the most consistent one, so I've gone with Dubravka. Norwich, it's Tonkad Todd, Todd, what's going on? Norwich is Todd Cantwell. Now, you could argue Puki, you could argue Benudia, well, how you say his name, but I'm going with Todd Cantwell, who has six goals and two assists to his name, and he plays in his three attacking role, and I see him on the ball dribbling, and I think he is their best player this season. Now, Norwich fans, let me know if you agree with that one. Sheffield United, this is a little Man United bias, but I've gone with Dean Henderson, because it's got to be a defender or a keeper, because they have the most clean sheets this season. And Dean Henderson, I've seen him make some brilliant saves. I do often watch clips of him, because he's uh, on loan from Manchester United. I'm a Manchester United fan. I've been very impressed with him. He could push the hair out squad next season. Who knows? It's got to be Dean Henderson. Southampton, there's no arguing this. It is Danny Ings. 14 goals for Danny Ings. We what, like, who was expecting that? I wasn't. I thought he was good. I knew he had in his locker, but maybe 14 goals for the whole season. Not 14 goals now already. That is insane he's just been insane there's no arguing with that Southampton have gone from looking like awfulness at the start of the season to looking like a decent team they've really stepped up lately since that 9-0 loss they've stepped up now Spurs again with Kane injured and Ali only recently finding form since Mourinho's come in it has to be Hung Min Son who's got seven assists only Trent Alexander-Arnold and De Bruyne have more assists than Son this season He's a good player off the ball and on the ball. I think you you don't really need to argue that. It's Hong Hung Min Son. My name pronouncing is not good today. I'm really sorry about that. Watford, I've gone with Decore. It's a poor Watford side. We're not going to lie. It's, it's not Watford's best side. But they've really started to improve. And I think one of the main people behind that is Decore. He's good on the ball. He can play defensive midfield. He can play attacking midfield. I think he's their best player. And he's been their best player this season. He's put in a few good shifts. West Ham, I feel like West Ham for me was the hardest one because they've been very poor, but how are they going to find new form under Moyes? Who knows? Their first game started off well. So, to be honest, no one stood out for me for West Ham. Yeah, you could say Fabianski, but he's just constantly injured. So, I've literally just gone with Haller, Sebastian Haller. I know he's only got six goals this season, but he's like their top scorer. Like, West Ham fans, who would you have said? Like, this was a hard one for me. I, I, I don't really watch you that often, so I've gone with Haller. And then Wolves, Wolves was between Traore and Jimenez, but the reason I've chosen Raul Jimenez is because he's top scorer this season with eight goals, and he's their top assister this season with six assists, so eight plus six, that is 14, that is 14 goal contributions, and he's just a good player for Wolves, so I've won with Raul Jimenez. Let me know what you think in the comments down below, if I've got anything right, if I've got anything wrong. They were who has been the best player from each Premier League club this season. Remember to hit that like button and subscribe for more football content. Also, you can comment any video suggestions down below.